Right, here we are guys, back for another Vineyard Acres. I'm, I'm glad we got this one. Oh, so this is one of the big reasons that I was uh, mentioning a little bit easier uh, earlier that you might want to use a uh, Titan ball at all times because of this hole. You're gonna see that we're gonna be pushing max. Um, you know, if, if I had a navigator, I would really be putting a lot of pressure on my uh, self here with the shot. So what I'll usually use is about four on the backspin. I'm going to cut off just a little bit on that. Um, I'm going to have to kind of wing this a little bit, unfortunately, because I'm running out of time. So I'm going to try to go right around there. Ooh, it caught my perfect ball. Let's just see how this plays out. So, so far, so good. So far, ah. So just a little bit light on my ring adjustment. I don't know if I got that full 4.7 or not. Um... I may not have. I was. I, I really didn't have it very lined up at all. So I had to kind of cheat it. But you can see basically what I'm going to do. I'm usually going to play it probably at least maybe plus 15, 10 or 15. And I upped it. Uh, since it was a little smaller wind. I upped it to 20. If it was a little bit taller wind, I'm going to go at least 25, maybe even 30% for that adjustment. So you can see a 5 ring for a 5.5 would probably be pretty spot on for a headwind case. Keep in mind, it has to be a headwind case. Tailwind case, we're actually going to take off of some of the adjustment. So you're really going to have to play the elevation tool. Um, I might play it straight up. I might play it minus 5% in the tailwind case. Keep in mind, when, you're, when you have a tailwind, you're going to be moving down into the sand. Moving down into the sand is a little bit risky. And here you can see my opponent actually comes up short. Um, this is kind of, you know, probably... Uh, you know, not being able to shot copy anymore is kind of, you know, really changing the way you really have to be very well inclined to be uh, well versed in all these holes and shootouts. So if you're not, I do highly recommend, you know, catching my channel and seeing if you can't get a little dialed in. Because if you're not thinking about these things like wind effect on every shot at all times, uh, it's really going to start hurting your performance. So do pay attention to my channel, you know. Pay attention to all these elevations that I'm telling you, but keep in mind that all these situations are going to fluctuate uh, time and time again. So good luck there, guys, and catch you guys on the next one.